And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. Careful. For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. Witness. <sighs> you. He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three. To start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. What I did was wrong, and I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her! That doesn't matter! I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. You have crossed me. And for that, I end your pathetic life!
slow down. I don't get it. Hey, where's Mum and Pops? Well, hurry. They gotta be somewhere, and I don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. Can I touch your face? No. Mm, you're no fun. No. As well that ends. Not as bad as it could have another step forward. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. My apologies. Welcome back, true soul. What news? My mistake? Your mind tastes familiar. Where are you reporting from? Right enough. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Zarel? Fancy name. Let's put our best foot forward. Or is it best feet? In her name. Have fun inside, true soul. Plenty of supplies if you're running low, true soul. According to her plan. We are favored. We are blessed. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are. The blessed will conquer all. For the absolute. There is only the Absolute. Worship her, love her, serve her, all will serve her, praise. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. The Disciple will want to see you through the main door. Wouldn't head into the main hall if I were you. Zarell and Kefrik are working on some poor worm. Shh! I'm trying to hear what's going on in there. Bunch of the others were rounded up in the main hall a while ago. They ain't come back. Still not quite sure why they brought us all here. Kind of worrying me. Heard a rumor some do-gooder stopped a horde of absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids in some grove. Whoever it was, better pray the general doesn't smoke them out. Be a bloodbath, so it would. Times are changing fast. Glad I'm here to see it. Aye, because you're not meant to. The eye focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. A spark 
glows within the heart of the construct. Someone or something watches you from beyond. A lifeless eye stares at you. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me at Here You Are. Karlak, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Do you want the coins or not? First coins got the soul of a woman named Maverick. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> We're just getting started. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Karlak's the one said to consume his soul, I hear. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongir. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. 
unless you've got actual gold to hand. If you have coin, then show it. Get moving, will you? You're one of her blessed, aren't you? To hear her voice. I cannot imagine. Perhaps I will be blessed as you are. But if not, I will serve in whatever way the General sees fit. The Absolute herself called us here. They cannot stop us from seeing Zorel now. Disciple Zorel wants to see us. You, me, all of us. I know she does. To stand this. Not all of us survived the shadows to stand here. My wife, my sons. They were unworthy. A single tower standing against this darkness. What is that if not proof of her power? Back of the line. I'll be the first of us to swear to the general. Every caravan brings more faithful for the absolute. But I will stand among the first. Each pack of recruits they bring in is worse than the last. Can't trust them to sweep the stables, let alone swing a sword. Not for me to say. All I know is they're bloody useless round here. No doubt. Isn't for me to question them above me. I'm sure you know your business. I'll see they get all the help they need, True Soul. And they'll need quite a bit. I've got the novices in hand, True Soul. War camps, docks, plenty of work for those who serve her. We've all got our part in her design. Just for some, that's mucking out latrines in the war camp. One mind. It's Rower you want. We only talk when you've misbehaved. You trying to get me in trouble? Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the Absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. a little more frothing at the mouth than faithful, true enough. Here, though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together, and quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? I'm not the one putting on an act, true soul. Though I'd mind how well you mouth your prayers. Spend enough time in this place, and you might just start to believe them. But look at me preaching, and when I'm only here to serve. Anything to trade, true soul? An honor, true soul. And this was funny when it was just goblins branding asses, but. You lot mean business, eh? I ain't looking to convert, true soul. God's mine there, miss. I mine mine. 